What? What? What's up, man? All right, we gotta talk about something again. Why do black people like fried chicken? So I was scrolling through the search engine known as Google, and I decided to ask Google, Google, why do black people like fried chicken? Because it seems to be that that's the main joke. Fried chicken, watermelon, grape, Kool-Aid. The list goes on. So I asked it and I got a response from Yahoo. Sad part is, it was the first one. When I typed it in, first thing to pop up. All right, I got my MacBook here. All right, to be exact, it's, why do black people love fried chicken? Type that in Google, it'll be the first thing you see. And we got the question coming from somebody and they asked, why do black people love fried chicken and watermelon? Now this is what this person answered. Notice that it's five years ago. I'm guessing back in 2009, everybody had the answers. Cannot give me any advice. You can help me. It's two o'clock. It is. This person said, I see nothing trollish or racist about your question. And I'll answer it directly. When black... Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. When blacks, when blacks were doing slave labor in the cotton fields, they were fed watermelon on break. I'm not sure if black people actually like watermelon, but that is probably what started the stereotype. As for fried chicken, it's because of the diet slaves ate when they were laboring in the kitchen. It consisted of Cajun and Creole flavors mixed with a lot of chicken. Look at all those chickens. Over centuries of passing down recipes and tastes to newer families, it's bound to still be popular to black families. It's basically ethnic African American food. The more you know. In the words of one of my favorite comedians. All these years, I thought I liked chicken because it was delicious. <laughs> Turns out I'm genetically predisposed to liking chicken. I always thought I liked fried chicken and hot sauce and Kool-Aid and grape juice and grape soda and for some reason Hawaiian Punch is just my favorite because you know, it's a combination of, well, I feel like it's a combination of everything. I love all of it, except for pig feet. I don't know, who likes pig feet? Chitlins, I understand what chitlins are. Same thing goes for that. It's like you add hot sauce and there's a reason why we have the highest rate of diabetes. I need to shave this off my face. But that's the thing, just because it's the norm and just because that's something that happened in the past. That doesn't mean anything. The reason why black people like fried chicken is because of the main thing. Everybody loves food. Who doesn't like to eat spicy chicken here and there or eat a watermelon? Even if, even if you find a vegan who does not, and I mean does not like to eat any type of thing involved with any animal, they're gonna like watermelon or grape. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what color they are. So if you like eating what you eat, just eat it as long as it's nothing really, really nasty. For example, if you like to eat cockroaches, that's you. I ain't doing it. Well, this was a really quick video. Just wanna make one really quick video for Friday. I'm filming at night. If you can hear the crickets, then my phone is doing really good. So since today is Friday, and hopefully when I upload this video, if my computer's not acting dumb, it'll upload very fast. What I'm gonna be doing today, which will be uploaded on Saturday, is I'm gonna have the entire Big Mac Eater crew all together. All them ignorant people in one place. What's not to love? And we're gonna do the Ice Bucket Challenge for bringing awareness to ASL. For those who don't know, look it up. If you are familiar with Lou Gehrig's disease, I've known about it for a long time, even when I was a kid, surprisingly. I just never knew what it was called as far as ASL, but I've always known about it. So, if it's bringing awareness, eh, I'm gonna help bring awareness to it. So, we're gonna do it. 
We will get icy. I feel like I'm getting electrocuted. Video tomorrow. Peace. We gotta talk about something, man.